now I'm going to shut up because my TD5 is going to make some noise. Whoopsie! <laughs>
And speaking of which, we have got something planned, or rather Nissa, as I mentioned in the previous video, has got something planned, I believe, for the whole 10,000 subscriber special. Because although we hit quite a few milestones in the past, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, whatever, we never really did anything, you know, really special to celebrate them. But now we're at 10,000, it feels like we really have to, because it's such a crazy number and we didn't think we'd ever get there. And we owe it to you guys, because again, as kind of cl cliche as it sounds, we wouldn't be here without you. You know, you are those 10,000. So we have to do something special for this uh, 10,000 subscriber milestone. But Nissa said to me that he is in the process of purchasing a vehicle that we could use to celebrate or, you know, make a 10,000 subscriber video. And in all honesty, I don't have a clue what it is. I don't even know if it's a Land Rover, <laughs> to be quite frank. To be quite frank. Um, because he won't tell me. And he, I, I assume he wants to leave it as a surprise. So, we're just going to have to wait and see. Anyway, I'll move on from the whole 10,000 subscriber hype. But thank you to every single one of you that have made that possible and have continued to support the channel for such a long time. Uh, we can uh, talk more about that when it comes, which will hopefully be in a few days, which is just, can't quite get my head around it. Anyway, in the previous video, I mentioned that I am thinking of doing a few more modifications to my TD5. Now, to be honest, I've done pretty much everything I want to do to this, which sounds stupid, because I know there's that joke with Land Rovers that, you know, you think you're like, no, nope, I'm done, I'm not spending any more money, and then five minutes later you're like, oh, that looks nice. So, I don't know, um, I had a few things in mind, like tree sliders, LED light bar or bars, and th those are the two main things I mentioned in that video. And now there's one more thing, uh, or maybe one or two more things which might be happening as well, uh, but I won't say anything about that yet. But anyway, I mentioned the, light, the tree sliders and the light bar. Most of you didn't like the idea of the light bar, which I'm kind of glad about, because I wasn't convinced myself, but I just thought there were, I thought there were a lot of you that wanted to see that in a video, so I was like, well, maybe I should put a light bar on it. And then a lot of you were like, no, keep it clean, make it look like a proper Land Rover. I was like, okay, whatever, I don't care. So I probably won't get a light bar, but tree sliders a lot of you were very keen on, and I'm quite keen on getting tree sliders. They look cool. Um, they protect the bodywork and they give you a bit of a step getting in and out of the vehicle. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a win-win. And they they keep that kind of, you know, they don't look, um, you know, too aftermarket. You can you can get tree sliders and it still looks like a, an old school Land Rover. So I'm, I'm looking into getting some tree sliders at some point. Although the problem is we've already done a video installing those to Nissa's V8. So it won't be that original to do another video. But I might do it for the sake of it. Anyway, because why not? And other than that, like I said, there's a couple more things. But otherwise, I'm, uh, there's not a lot I want to do. You know, I've got my remap, I've got my seats, I've got my sound system, um, I've got my intercooler, i got, you know, all these bits. Like, there's nothing else. I've, I'm, I don't, like, drive it on a regular basis and, like, think that I'm missing something particularly. It, it does what I need it to do for the things I, I use it for. Another thing, which isn't necessarily a modification, is that I have a bit of a, an issue with steering wobble at the moment. Above about 50, 60 miles an hour, I have a pretty nasty steering wobble issue. And I'm not sure what that is exactly, but I have bought a few things which might hopefully remedy it. And we'll probably do a video on that at some point in the near future, uh, because I'm getting kind of tired of driving with a wobbly steering wheel at high speeds. It's not very fun. Uh, it's not like, you know, dangerously bad, but it's a bit annoying. So we will look into that as well. I know that's like a fairly common Land Rover issue is steering wobble. Problem is there's about 17 different things it can be, but uh, we'll, we'll try a couple of things. Well, there's one main thing I think it could be, and we'll uh, do a video on that. Furthermore, for the TD5, um, and kind of coinciding with the 100, not 100, 10,000 subscriber milestone, the TD5 is very close to hitting 300,000 kilometers. It is at 298,396, so about 1,400-ish kilometers to go until it hits 300,000. And obviously I haven't driven it for all of those 300,000, but uh, a large portion of the last 100,000 has been me. And uh, I thought when it does hit it, I'll make some kind of, like I have to do something. I'll do a video, um, perhaps talking about what it's been like living with it and, you know, uh, reliability, uh, whether it's still usable after 300,000 kilometers, that kind of stuff. Um, at least just to commemorate the fact that it hit 300,000, because this thing does get used and abused. Um, you know, I, I 
drive it every single day in and out of town. It goes off-road, it pulls stuff around, it does a bit of everything. Um, it is not a garage queen. So, you know, what condition is it in after 300,000 kilometers uh, in, a, in a country with pretty poor weather at that as well? So that will probably be another thing. Then, to move on from that, we have Nissa's V8, the other kind of flagship vehicle of this channel, which hasn't been on the channel that much lately. And I feel like it should be on more, because I think it, it gets a lot of attention, because, I mean, how does it, you know, it, how does it not? It's big and shouty and angry and everything. Uh, and people seem to really, really like it. So, I want to do more content with that as well. I'm not sure in particular what, but if there's something you guys would like to see, again, let us know. One thing I thought of would, which could be quite fun is doing somehow like a comparison between TD5 and V8, like a real world comparison, you know, like fuel economy and stuff like that. And obviously the TD5 is probably going to win on most of them, uh, apart from like noise or something. Um, but I just thought if we could do some kind of like maybe Top Gear-esque, you know, real world comparison, like slightly silly between TD5 and V8, it could be quite fun. I just haven't quite thought of how I would uh, formulate that just yet, so I don't know. And moving on to the next vehicle, we have the Creeper. We haven't heard much about the Creeper lately. However, Nissa is working, oh God, let's go straight ahead. There's a tunnel this way. Nissa is working hard on the RB25 engine for the Creeper. That has come quite a long way as far as I'm aware. So I'll try, maybe I can put a picture up on the screen of that engine. Uh, but that's the engine that's going in the Creeper, our Land Rover Series 3 project. And I think at some point soon Nissa wants to start working on the, the body and the chassis and everything like that and tearing it down. I'm not quite sure what the plans are, but it is moving in the background. You just haven't seen much of it on camera because I think it's like lots of little jobs which, you know, take a lot of time and it's difficult to, to kind of get interesting content out of it right now. But maybe we'll film an update on it or something like that and uh, take a look at it because... It is obviously something something quite interesting, but just so you know, it is still happening. Uh, it is not like we've given up on anything, we're just being a bit quiet. Now, I'm going to shut up because my TD5 is going to make some noise. Whoopsie! <laughs> and speaking of series and Defender Land Rovers, there may also be a Just Defender Things 3 video in the works. We are coming up with ideas for that at the moment. So you can expect, maybe within a month or two, if everything goes to plan, that we'll be making a third iteration of our kind of, you know, comedy series, Just Defender Things, where we just muck around a bit and have a bit of fun and make fun of the vehicles that we love oh so much. And uh, seem, they seem to be rather popular with the Land Rover community. So we'll be making another one, I hope, at some point. And in fact, if you have suggestions for Just Defender Things 3, then leave it down in the comment section below. And if you have no idea what Just Defender Things is, you should go and check out Just Defender Things 1 and 2 on our YouTube channel, which we made quite a long time ago now. But uh, it's basically like a bunch of comedy sketches about all the uh, annoying things or funny things that happen when you drive or own a Land Rover. So I would uh, go and check that out. And speaking of which, that'll give me a nice segue into my next point which is the fact that you can buy Tearspec TV and Just Defender Things key rings on our website as well as Tearspec TV stickers. But what I really want to say is that we will also be looking into more, more tunnels, more tunnels. Oh, 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 that was a short one. <laughs> short but sweet. Yeah, we'll be looking into getting new merch in the new year. Something that a lot of you have been asking for and I'm really keen to get done is Tearspec TV t-shirts, hoodies, uh, things like that, you know, clothing. Because uh, so many of you have been asking for it, and we're always wearing, we're often wearing t-shirts and hoodies when we go to events or in videos and things, and a lot of you seem to want it, and we have a lot of cool ideas for Land Rover and Tearspec TV based uh, clothing and merchandise, so it's something we really want to do. It's just something that's, it's tricky, because, you know, it is a business, and business is not an easy thing to do, and it takes a lot of money and figuring out, you know, whatever. So basically, we're working on it, but it's gonna take some time and hopefully in the new year we can come up with something, but I don't know when, uh, other than the fact I'm just saying we are trying to figure something out for all of those of you who are asking for t-shirts and hoodies. Other than that, I think that is about it for all the things I want to talk about for this little discussion of the thing, at least. It's all the things I have on my little uh, <laughs> notes in front of me. I may, 
make, I always make like a little a bullet point list and stick that in front of me behind the camera because otherwise I will never remember what I need to say in these videos or I'll make the whole video and then forget and then have to refilm it or something. Uh, anyway, like I said, I think that's all I want to say. Apart from that, I do want to say have a very, very merry Christmas to all of you out there. A huge thank you for your continued support of the channel. Hopefully we will be at 10,000 subscribers within the next few days. It's the 22nd today, so I'm hoping by 24th, 25th we can be there because we are so, so close. It would be an amazing Christmas present and we will do our best to make it up to you guys for all the support that you have given us. But for now I'm going to say thank you so much for watching guys. Have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you get lots of goodies for yourselves and your Land Rovers and we'll see you in the next video.